Welcome, dear friends, and thank you for joining me at this late hour in the United Kingdom. It's just gone midnight, and in our sleepy village, there's not a sound to be heard. But it's good to have your company, and I welcome you to this table of love, a table where we share love table where we are empowered by the love of all that is sacred to receive love. And that's not easy for those <clears throat> who've spent many, many years trapped in a place where they've never known love, unconditional love. So I would like to invite you to light your candle tonight or today for those gentle souls who are locked in that mindset where there is no love, where they may be living in a relationship where they are controlled and denied selfless love. And I know of one such couple in our sleepy village where this beautiful lady has lived for 30 odd years and is an exceptionally good actress. And only three people know outside her family of her nightmare. Her GP, brother Rob, and myself, where we have spent the weekend trying to wipe many tears and support a beautiful soul who has developed mental illness through a controlling partner who abuses her on every level and who puts up a brave face for her two grown-up children, now adults, so let us remember tonight the many, many beautiful children of God who find it difficult to face their greatest fear and say to that person or persons, I will be free. I am now free. Let us pray for the strength that they need to be empowered by the love of our prayer and our generosity of spirit. So we light this light for all God's children who are in a place of entrapment, a place of danger to their spiritual journey and to their mental and physical journey. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother, God Supreme, who creates life. In the name of the risen cosmic Christ, who loves life. In the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life. In the name of Gaia, our beloved Earth Mother, who nurtures the divine in all our lives, in the name of all faith traditions and none, for they are the children of the one true loving God, our brothers and sisters. And in the name of spiritual diversity, I, Brother Sean, on behalf of my beautiful brothers and sisters, of the Teo community of interfaith Franciscans, I welcome you to this table of unconditional love. So welcome, be still, relax, and sense the peace of our God. Let us just for this moment place our bare feet on terra firma, 
on the sacred earth, the cathedral of God. Sense the gentle currents of healing love flowing up through your sacred feet, balancing and cleansing all of your chakras and reawakening within you a child of light, a child who is loved, a child who is invited to sit at this table regardless of their past, regardless of their present, and regardless of their future, to come as an equal, a beloved of God. Be still. Be still in the presence of all that is sacred to you. And with every in-breath that you breathe, be aware. Be aware that you, as a co-creator of God, are dearly loved. Dearly, dearly loved. Relax. Relax in the presence of the divine masculine and feminine energies of God and take heart take heart and know that you are loved not in the sense the world recognizes or perceives love for that love is limited controlling, spoiled, even contaminated. But the love I invite you to embrace is a selfless love, a reverent love. It is a healing love, a gentle love. So just for this moment, as you breathe in, Allow your heart, your teacher, embrace this love. And with every in-breath that you breathe, be aware you are in the company of the wise ones, the ascended masters, the angels and archangels, the holy men and women of God from all faith traditions and none who are around you, guiding you, protecting you. Sense their love for you. Relax now. that you are as a child of God. And you might wish to repeat to yourself your mantra, the mantra of your own choosing. A mantra that connects you with the sacred, with the beloved. Be aware of your sacred heart pulsating in your chest. It's no ordinary pulsation. It is the I am presence within you, pulsating with love, empowering you. Come back. Let me share this beautiful song 
by Charles Lansborough or Charlie Lansborough and it's called I Will Love You All of My Life. I will love you. You're forever telling me I'm when I'm criticized, I never speak. I prefer to attend the other team. But I will love you all my life. I can never do things right by you. And the kind of man. Who mothers through Eastern now? You can find such things in all I do, but I will love you all my life. Something foolish happens, and you see me in the middle of it all. There's me. Seems I cause you so much misery, but I will love you all my life. my life to in service to the beloved for peace for peace in my life in your life and in the lives of every child of God but that isn't a burden that is a gift and the moment you surrender your heart 
to that beloved God, something changes. The earth doesn't move, but your heart moves. It's as if there's an eclipse with the heart, the soul, and your oneness in service to God. Things change. Clarity is given where you can see, you can behold, and fold, hold, and listen voice that never deceives you, a voice that lifts you up in your darkest hour, a voice that is flooded with love and allows you to see, I will love you all of my life. Is that where you are today, tonight? That you will love your God with all of your life? It's so easy to do, but so many struggle. Because their mind room, ego, gets in the way. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's low self-worth. Maybe it's having spent a lifetime, as I did, devoid of that inner bliss, where you allow fear and religiosity and guilt to rob you of your love, to rob you of sacred intimacy with your beloved. come into the presence of the beloved, the cosmic Christ, with the divine feminine aspect of God. Let us call to our soul. Let us speak to our soul. Let us ask our soul, what are you wanting me to do right now? The head, the ego, gives off a different language, often words locked in a mindset of fear. But let us ask our soul, what do you want me to do with the rest of my life? I guarantee you, as night follows day and day follows night, you will be affirmed surrender and see, embrace and see, touch and see, behold and see. See your heart as God sees it. It may be battered, broken, bruised and torn as many of our hearts are but for this God of love to touch us where the mind is still in control, often we have to be broken in our ego so that our surrendering isn't as painful and our surrender is the key to nirvana to eternal joy, to those blissful encounters with the beloved when we are alone in this sacred space. Embrace your divinity as a child of God. By taking your power from those who have alienated you, your thoughts, your fears, maybe other individuals. Maybe you grew up as I did with parents who never seen your beauty, 
only your ugliness, who never praised you for being a beautiful child of God, but who always put you down. Maybe they were jealous. Maybe they had inner conflicts. Maybe they were unhappy and took it out on you and me. Let us come away from that place. Let us name it. Let us bless it. Let us release it to God. And now that we are in touch with our soul, let us ask the Christ, the cosmic Christ, our brother, our teacher, our mentor, our friend, to come to us. And we see him right before us. He sat at this table. We may not have seen him, but he sees us and he's touching us with strands of love welling up into our heart. Relax. And with every breath you breathe, experience the violet ray, the violet flame, the cosmic rays of the Christ encircle you now. And relax you in your mind, in your body, and in your spirit. And feel that inner glow deep within your being. sense the presence, the presence, and now allow your heart sing the praises of the beloved. I will love you. Then we hear him sing to us, but I have loved you all of your life. I have loved you all of your life. What is that saying? That despite our vulnerabilities, our disabilities, despite our senior moments, despite when we take our eye off the ball and allow the ego and that mindset of fear take control, despite all of the ups and downs of living in this physical form, in a beautiful world that seems where many have lost their way, we hear those words, but I have loved you all of your life. Say those words now to yourself. I will love me because I am loved by the cosmic Christ. I will love my mind, my body and spirit, God's gift to me, all of my life, because I am a child of God. I am loved for who I am, 
I am loved. I am loved. I am loved. Be still. Be still in the presence of now and feel that love touch you and set you free. Sense that inner peace radiating up to your mind, releasing all those fragments or cookies of negativity and dispelling them And the reading for this day, I am the potter, you are my clay. I designed you before the foundation of the world. I arrange the events of each day to form you into the preconceived pattern. My everlasting love is at work in every event of your life. On some days you will, and mine flow smoothly together. You tend to feel in control of your life when our wills are in harmony. On other days, you feel as if you are swimming upstream against the current of my purposes. When that happens, stop and seek my face. The opposition you feel may be from me, or it may be from the evil one. Talk with me about what you are experiencing. Let my spirit guide you through treacherous waters. As you move through the turbulent stream with me, let circumstances mold you into the one I desire you to be. Say yes to your potter as you go through this day. Relax in the presence of the beloved. And allow him come close to you and you see his aura of love and it's flowing into your own aura. The magnetic field has caught you, is drawing you to the mystical heart within the cosmic Christ. And there is an inner joy there is a peace this world does not understand, but you do, because you are embracing that peace of God right now. And you sense the healing touch from the mystical heart of God pierce your heart to liberate your heart from all danger, all fear, all tragedy. And welling up within you are those beautiful words we played in the song, I will love you all of my life. I will love you all of my life. I will love my God supreme all of my life. I will love my spiritual teachers all of my life. I will love my brothers and sisters who care for me, who support me, to bring me to the presence of the sea. 